Hello and welcome to Collection Speed Dating at Fort Ticonderoga. I am Matthew Cagle, curator, and today I am in our archaeological study room where cabinets like these, funded in no small part thanks to the New York State Council on the Arts and our generous donors, allow us to store some of the tens of thousands of artifacts that have been recovered from the Ticonderoga Peninsula and the surrounding area over the course of the 20th and 21st centuries. Now many of these artifacts give us no idea exactly who used them or when, but a few types of artifacts allow us to see exactly when and by whom something was used. And today, our object is this small cast brass emblem worn by a soldier of the 26th Regiment of the British Army on their cartridge box, which would have sat on their right hip. This badge very clearly indicated the origins and the affiliation of the soldiers who wore it. Now, you might not know it, looking at simply the crown that acknowledges it's a royal regiment or regiment of the British Army, and the numeral 26, but this regiment's origins actually lie in Scotland in the late 17th century amongst a group of radical Presbyterians in the religiously charged conflicts of that era. Eventually, by the middle of the 18th century, many of the regiments of the British Army adopt numbers to designate them within the line, and this regiment received the designation 26. The regiment's connection to Ticonderoga begins in 1772, when the regiment relieved the detachment of the 60th or Royal American Regiment of Foot that was garrisoning Ticonderoga at that time. By 1773, a larger contingent was stationed here at Fort Ticonderoga and remained here until 1775. In fact, it was less than 50 men of the 26th Regiment, and half as many women and children, that were here garrisoning Ticonderoga when the fort was taken by Benedict Arnold and Ethan Allen and the men they commanded. So this object connects us to those years, really even those hours, before the American Revolution began here at Ticonderoga. 